Nautilus and straight edge, and they were two dimensional. This is Euclidean geometry, but we want to use that to create a three dimensional. So for platonic solid, the dodecahedron, twelve sides with uh, pentagon faces on all of them. And we have there are four platonic. Oh, sorry, five platonic solids, and but we're going to make the dodecahedron. And come to the straight edge, it's, uh, I've done a couple of videos. So basically what we need to do is draw a pentagram and from that we'll make a template of how to construct this. Uh, I've, I've done it on an early video, but I'll just do it again quickly to show. So, uh, construction line. Uh, we'll do a vesica. Going to cut this to create 90 degree sections. Put your pencil on the point that helps, and then you can slide your straight edge across. Now, I have this as a marked edge, so it's a ruler, so but you know, I'm not using the measurement, so I, technically it's compass and straight edge. Without changing our compass, do one more circle in the center. Okay, and now with that we, so this point, um, so what we have now is that's, if that's the length of 2, that's the length of 1, therefore that's uh, from here to here is the square root of 5, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, now with that we go around, now what we need to do is reset our compass to the original setting. point now on the edge there. Now we've bisected this line now. Um, since this was one, that was now the square, so that's one plus the square root of five. So that's the uh, basics of the golden number. Now what I'm going to draw it, sorry, from here, we're going to draw a line down the center. Okay, so now we have the golden number. If this is 1, then this is 1.618033933, etc. on to infinity. But now we have the basic uh, parts of the pentagram. And now from this point, we're going to go through here. And then we'll go through here. So now we have the basics already starting to appear of a pentagram. Now we go, now this will be our, our main point. So from the edge there. Now, we actually could use this point as well. Because I'm using a pencil and, and rough, it's going to, but so we're, from here, we should pass through. If you do it on, a, uh, on the computer, you'll find that this will pass through here and will intersect there. Yeah, so just to point out that because I'm doing it with a pencil and so the pencil thickness adds, will add a little bit of inaccuracy and you want to do it as carefully with as fine a point as you can and as accurate as you can. So even when I was, my, you know, when I was putting my uh, point in, I wasn't you know, it was a fraction of a mil off, and these little inaccuracies will add up. So, uh, finest point as you can, be as accurate as you can with your center points. And there we have a pentagram. And by definition, it's uh, a perfect pentagram as well. Um, 
you can do the you know the, the maths of it the you know one plus square root of five and with that it's easy to create a pentagon and with this pentagon or alternatively the pentagram we can create the dodecahedron 12-sided platonic solid uh, that's the total number of degrees 6480 6480 years in a platonic season and it's also in uh, traditions it's rep this represents heaven so so we've created it now because uh, I already have like a little one here I'm going to use now rather now do this as accurate as you can then you cut it out and you have a template to begin building the dodecahedron. I'm just going to be using this little tool to be as quick as I can. And so now it's just a matter of using this and arranging the points to create a template. Now I'll begin over here and again you want to use a, make it as accurate as you can to begin with and I'm just going to you know, use these corner points to mark out And so we have, and now I'll push down hard with a ballpoint to let me, I don't want to ruin the paper underneath, so I'll So we'll be pushing down hard with these points because we want to, uh, this will help with the folding of it later. So now we have one face of the dodecahedron and now I'm going to go into high speed and you can just follow the pattern through. So begin with this and okay and now I'm going to go high speed. Okay, now we want to add the uh, the tabs to it. So we want little bits of extra pieces of paper just to help us glue it all together. And I'll just do those in uh, freehand. And that's uh, uh, so. Which ones we we would want?
Okay, now it's just a matter of firstly we'll fold in these tabs. Hopefully I've put uh, all of them in there. Might have missed one, hopefully not. There we have it, dodecahedron.